A tense moment in Ferguson Monday night. Police advance toward protesters, ordering them to disperse. In the distance, clouds of tear gas were visible as police took aim at a group of about 100 protesters gathered near a burned out convenience store. A car with an injured man sped up and he was hustled away by onlookers. Police made several arrests. Community leaders, clergy and volunteers managed to convince most of the remaining protesters to leave the area where police stood in riot gear, backed up by armored vehicles. For most of the blazing afternoon and the sultry Missouri night, groups of protesters marched peacefully along Ferguson's rundown Main Street, where many storefronts are boarded up following outbreaks of looting. Police ordered protesters to keep moving continuously in the heat. They said if they stopped on the sidewalk or gathered in groups, they would be arrested. Protesters said their fundamental constitutional rights of peaceful protest were being ignored. If we do stand still, they, they, I don't know, they try to arrest us. I've been harassed three times by the same officer for sitting still handing out roses. You know, it's just, that's what people get tired of. That's why people start to riot because it makes people angry. There's some law against handing out roses? Not that I know of. It was a steady flow of people on foot holding signs demanding justice for Michael Brown, the teenager whose killing by police set off more than a week of unrest. Missouri National Guard troops were deployed with a limited mission to guard a police command center. Protesters say a larger pattern of police mistreatment has worsened amid the protests. I was tear gassed, me and two teenage kids, um, my niece and nephew, they were tear gassed. We were doing anything. We had our signs up and we were standing still. I just don't understand it. I just don't understand why do we have to be treated like animals. President Barack Obama interrupted his summer holiday to consult with federal officials about the situation in Ferguson. Let me also be clear that our constitutional rights to speak freely, to assemble and to report in the press must be vigilantly safeguarded, especially in moments like these. There's no excuse for excessive force by police or any action that denies people the right to protest peacefully. FBI agents are interviewing witnesses as part of what officials say will be a thorough investigation into whether Brown's killing violated federal civil rights law. And to underscore the importance of that investigation, the highest law enforcement officer in the land, Attorney General Eric Holder, will visit Ferguson in person on Wednesday. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Ferguson, Missouri.